What is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are back with McLaren career mode in F1 manager. Check out the last episode if you haven't already. We had our best results to date at the Belgian Grand Prix. The low fuel strats continue to pay off. And Lando didn't even have a fresh engine for that race. We were trying to skate by with all the components we have, both um, around the car aero-wise, but also engine-wise. We are skating on a very thin line of um, budget for this season, trying not to get fired and trying to stay above the level of debt. But uh, yeah, we fast forward time now to, I guess, just before the summer break, the uh, Dutch Grand Prix is coming up in 25 days. Uh, which means we'll have a little bit of time in between the summer shutdown to, I suppose, manufacture some components because that's the that's the talking point now. Both cars have failed inspection. We've gone very aggro on our components, um, very light components. They don't last very long. And so we have to replace them pretty often. Uh, thankfully, it's only spec one on suspension. So yeah, we're going to manufacture some chassis. We're going to manufacture some wings and uh, kind of go from there. Chassis take a long time to go on the car, so... Oh, no, we don't want to rush. We want to do about three of those. That should hopefully see us out to the end of the season, barring any major crashes. 1.6 mil just for chassis alone. So you can quickly see how we're going to run out of money. Uh, what else desperately needs doing? I know side pods need some attention. We're down to three side pods. Let's do two. And then front wings don't take too long. Thankfully, uh, well, hopefully, we don't burn through those. But yeah, let's do let's do two of those. Another 900k for side pods, and we are out of manufacturing slots. Good thing I didn't manufacture front wings because we've got a new spec coming. Okay, so that's gonna be our last upgrade of the season. That last front wing upgrade. Maybe that could be the difference between us fighting for top six positions or podiums. What's this? Uh, yeah, we know the board is uh, high on confidence with us, so we're in the clear on that front. Driver development update. Piastri gets better cornering, better braking, better adaptability, so he's going to be better in the rain, and accuracy, so less mistakes. Lando, better control. Nice. And better defending. Palau. Mid, really. Uh, I am going to, and I, I've been thinking about this for a while, let's sign a reserve driver worthy of McLaren. 5.5 mil. We had some cash come in. So what's Ben going to do? He's going to spend money to make money. Again, training schedule. Let's nail that down, actually. Uh, but we're not going to sign the reserve for right now. And I'll get back to that on a sec in a second. Drivers. We, I believe, have already been scouting Teo Porcher. 259k buyout. That's if we wanted to sign him immediately. But we're not too interested in doing that because... I think if we sign him as a reserve driver right now, I think that yanks him out of F2. So what I propose is that we sign him from next season onwards. No cost to break contract. He gets to potentially win his F2 title, gets a bit more development, and then we go hand with him next year on developments. One season, let's go three seasons. I'm happy to lock this guy in for the long term. Salary 1.247 mil. Would he be happy with that? That would be an absolute steal if we if we could do that. And hell, let's go for a signing bonus. So really, the total cost today would only be 125k to get someone as good as Teo. Let's see if he accepts. Yeah. Salary is not high enough. Good thing I didn't lowball him even further. Let's go for 1.4 million. He's got high patience, so we can we can afford to have a few goes at this. And he's accepted on the second offering. Welcome to McLaren, Teo Porcher, for next season. Absolutely huge. And look at his stats. 77 rated, 19 years old, 83 cornering. Pretty good smoothness. Like, this is absolutely nuts. And I think his growth potential is high or very high for his age. So, if we did 10 seasons, for example, he'd be like Verstappen level. Very nice. Let's go to our training schedule and let's see if we can maximize our pit stops. Because that's something we've been lacking. Badger, assistance, pit stop drill, jacks. 
Lower car. Estimated pit stop time. Oh, we go down to 2.1 seconds. Oh, this could be OP. This could be OP. We want less gym training. I'm going to take off one more gym training and go more on um, pit stop drills. This guy is going to be so sick of pit stop drills. Yeah, I'm not hitting under 2.2 seconds yet. The best I've seen is 2.2 or 2.1. This is this is already pretty pretty good for us. All right, we stay under 40, and this and the pit stops are still 2.1 seconds, which is pretty pretty amazing. It must be said. Let's go with that. Pit crew over overview. They were too well rested. Slacking. 2.3 second stops is not not good. Okay, manufacture some suspension, please. Let's do four. Quite handy. Confirm. Best to say before you go into debt. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Willie J. 85 rated. And some research spoke about is done. Let's, let's not lose our heads. They're tired now, but come the actual race weekend, they'll be all right. Okay, nine days. Let's do quite a few of these. This will probably be our last one for the season. Six front wings, 1.3 mil. And did I see 41 mil left on the cost cap? I've been meaning to check up on this. So we have 41 million remaining. Factoring in paying staff and facility upkeep, etc. We're projected to have 33 million left at the end of the season. As long as we don't get into crashes, I think we're okay on that. We still need to take another engine uh, for both cars. So that'll eat up a lot of that cost cap. 33.7 mil left in August means you got money for car development, but nothing else. Oh, I might have to shut down some facilities. Yes, very sad. Anyway, it got me thinking. Car parts development, research. So we did chassis before, I believe. That was 700K. The thing we want to do next is uh, side pods, because this also has minor technical reg changes for next year. Nothing on anything else apart from chassis. So, side pods it is. We don't have any hours to do on this. 33.7 left at the end of August with four months left is quite tough. Oh dear. Well, let's not spend much money then. One million left. One million for this. Six engineers. Boom. Uh, I wanted to let you know that some of our board members have shown interest in attending the Dutch Grand Prix. I believe their presence at the race weekend can help facilitate communication and fortify connections between the team and the board. Plus, depending on how things go, uh, and what impressions they take away. It could influence their confidence in your leadership to the team. Are you happy to go ahead? Two times board confidence for a successful result. Yes. I would like that. Race prep. HQ3. I think we can do that with both cars again. Both cars. We're looking pretty quick at the moment. And with this new front wing on, we should be even quicker. Are other teams bringing upgrades? Oh my word. How are we outperforming? How do we get a podium with that? Those stats, that's nuts. Red Bull, best as you can imagine. Alpine, best at high speed. That'll be pretty quick this weekend. Williams, even Williams are ahead of us. What's going on? Huh? We're good at DRS effectiveness and top speeds. Yeah, these are all our old components. So this comparison is a bit futile. That said, with all of our upgrades, I think we're a solid top 10 contender. Anyway, with that said, it's time to go to the race weekend. <laughs> Lando's absolutely in the mud. I feel like we need to take a new engine with Lando. Five mil in the negative. But we'll get that we'll get a good chunk of that money back at the end of this race weekend. I'm gonna do it, guys. Because a rain affected race will kind of nullify taking an engine penalty, a grid drop. If we make the right decision, we get ourselves out of traffic very easily. That's the kind of weekend where it makes sense to take a new engine. First lap was a warm up. Second lap is where we push. Same with Oscar. Now we can fight. All that good stuff. And it might have got held up by Stroll. And in fact, I think he did because he's slower than Piastri, which doesn't happen very often. Let's get uh, Oscar to come back to the pits, and we'll get Lando to actually do a second push here. No, we won't. Play it safe. We'll bring him back, and we'll go out again on the same set of tyres if need be. Piastri's done an absolute blinder there. Norris isn't too far off. He's ahead of Verstappen, so maybe we're safe with both cars for a change. 
I'm gonna stay in. We're safe. But yeah, the pace looks good. New front wing working a trick. And we're clear of all the penalty runners. Could be a good weekend. Q2 then. And then when Piastri finishes this lap, we bring him on a cooldown. So cooldown now. Norris crosses the line one tenth away. Very good. I can't remember what time we did in Q1, but I think it was in the 11s. Charge up the battery on this lap, and then we'll go again next lap for more confidence gain. Tires should be warmer this time around. And we've got battery with Piastri to push. Definitely have battery with, uh, with Norris to push. So let's see what we can do. We might even go quicker. Purple again, first sector. Huge. Alonso's in the 10s. Holy hell. Let's go down to a one lap run plan now. I'm going to stay in the lane. I think we're safe. Even with Norris. I usually have a good sense of whether we're safe or not. And today I think we're clear on one set of tyres. Russell's last lap. Nope, doesn't improve. We're good. Saving tyres. I'm just, I'm just good for the environment. Absolutely huge. We make Q3 with both cars fairly comfortably. Piastri's very quick this weekend. And, and Norris is the one with the new engine. 99%, 80, and 72. 79, 80, 60. Where's this pace come from for Piastri? Last round, last episode, Norris had the older engine but was quicker. It was always like Piastri was missing an engine component or a, uh, a new car component. And now this round, it feels like Norris is missing a new car component. But they've, all, they've both got this equal opportunity, equal components. So I really don't understand what's, what's at play here. Please don't run out of fuel, Lando. I'm a little bit worried about him. Piastri. No! Six tenths off. Held up in traffic. Very good. Imperative that we get a clear run at the end of this session, please. New and new. Oh, Piastri might have a bit of traffic here on his. Hopefully that's not the case. Piastri needs a clear run here. He's the one who's not taking a penalty. Okay. Here we go. Norris Purple! First sector! Oh my word. Middle sector? Oh, that's not good. That's not ideal. That's not ideal. That's not what we wanted to see. Last throw of the dice for Lando Norris. Are we going to get on the front row with a McLaren? That was the answer. Wait, Norris could go again for another lap. We might have the fuel. We might have the ERS. I'm going to get him to keep pushing, actually. Piastri is green to the first sector. A car up ahead could, could spoil us with a bit of dirty air. Who knows? Anyway, on board with Oscar, who's not improved in the middle sector. What is he playing at? Oof. Held up a turn one. Good job, Very good. I'm just going to leave Lando to keep going. Can he improve with no battery? No. He's out. This could actually help us inadvertently. Who knows? Green first sector. Could, could Os oh my god, As Oscar's actually going quicker. No battery left. No fuel left. He's out of fuel. No! Both cars are kaput. <laughs> so, there we go. Oscar will start P5. Lando actually went as quick as he could there in, in Q3. Fair play. Four tenths off. That's that's a very good effort. Can't fault him on that. Oscar 11-2 in Q2. His pace was at his worst in Q3. I really need to understand how these, I don't know, ebbs and flows just happen. Oscar just seems to be better on second laps. Or earlier on in the, in the session. Uh, maybe the tyres were just not up to temperature on his first lap. Maybe he got held up. I don't really know. But 11-2 uh, would have seen him right in this mix. And it would have made a difference with all the, all the penalties. But uh, there we go. A lot to play for with uh, some rain in the race. 20th. I forget you, you get the big grid drop with an engine. Okay. We're last. You know how I said uh, about not going into debt? Yeah. About that. Let's take one big penalty bath this weekend and not have to worry at all about Lando for engines. 
Now, let's just pray that he doesn't crash or get crashed into and lose all these engines. That would completely capitulate our season with cost cap. Ray strategy. When's the rain coming? Uh, in the 20s. Around that 25. Can softs do it? Just, but I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Is it going to rain? For the, it will rain for the rest of the race. So mediums is probably the ticket and we want to under fuel, I would say. Once again, because that worked so well for us in previous rounds. Mediums definitely for Oscar to make those last till the rain. Under fuel, one up for minimum. There's not really much else to do because uh, the rain is going to take care of the strategy for us. I reckon that's inters. I don't, I don't think we'll see the wets. If I had to guess, it's just going to be inters. All right, I'm happy. P5 for Oscar to start this race. This could be big points for us this weekend. Let's go full send and hope that uh, we can do something special once again here in Zandvoort. Quite a surprise to see them in P5. But what do you it's mean? a big chance for the team to maximize their points. He and belongs there. Like good he belongs to in the top five. The drivers are ready and the crowds are We waiting. love getting roasted by it's the commentators. Softs for Ferrari and I see a hard for P3. And away we go. Off we go. Full send, full send. Full send on the fuel, it seems. See if we can do something in a turn one. Piastri up to P4. Flying. Get the low fuel. Norris in a land of his own. There's a crash. There's been a big crash. We crash, we crash, we crash. We've got a yellow flag here. Oscar! Now we're approaching turn two. With not much room to move. It has to be said, that was pretty risky. And there'll be more than one unhappy team after that. At least it's not damage. Penalty? The car on the outside. You are the victim here. They all right. Deploy. Oh, good. Absolutely brilliant. Once again. Oh, Science is winning? Must mean the Claire then. There's the Claire. Let's build it up slowly as we get ready for the rain. That only knocks the confidence further. We love it. We love to see it. Norris gets past Ricardo. It's mad how much the confidence affects the pace. Absolutely mad. Got ahead of Hulkenberg. Very good. Don't get re-overtaken, please. Norris is ahead. Off. Pass get in the bin. That car is so much slower. Please. Please. What is this? We don't get the credit for that. Okay, we do. Oh, hello. What in the traffic is this? Back to low confidence. Very good. Staying with Alonso, which, which is uh, encouraging. And nearly dropping Hulkenberg. So, we are in our own little realm here. Do we... No. This could still be an alright race if we play our cards right. Once the rain comes and we get the jump on the slower cars, we're going to be fine. Try and pick our way through Joe ahead. See you later, mate. Okay. Race is slowly, slowly opening up for us. Eight laps till rain. Eight laps till rain. And look at this. Once we get onto the next group of cars, there's a massive train, all for P3. So we're not completely out of this yet. Although Piastri now needs to pick up the pace. I don't even need to assist Lando. He knows what he's doing. He's absolutely flying. P14. Might be on his teammate by that 20. Let's get Piastri back in the mix with Alonso. I think we're there. Oh, DRS. Unfortunately. Confidence is picking back up though. Rain is imminent. Perfect. I'm hoping we have the margin to clear some of the stinkers here. Oh! Russell! No, 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 no. Come on, Norris. Get Russell and don't let him out. Don't break. Okay, that's... Yeah, not ideal. Interesting. Interesting strats. Oh, we're ahead of Alonso! My confidence is back, baby. Now we cook. 
Okay, now we don't cook. Alto's tires are dying off. Get ready for the rain. About two to three laps away. Yeah, Oscar's penalty will, will, will hurt if we double stack, so we do have to uh, think about that. Actually, we wouldn't double stack based on how far back Norris is. If there's a pit stop issue though, that would be bad. And that is a position gained. 16, 16. We're the quickest cars on tracks right now. Let's go. Battling with Alonso again. We don't need to be doing this. Why are we hurting ourselves? Why are we risking so much? Likelihood of a crash, very high. One of us just needs to chill out. Preferably you, with your old tyres. Oh my god, soft runners are dying off the pace. It's so annoying. If this rain holds out another couple laps, then they're risking punctures at this point. I think this might be the lap. This might be the time to box one of our cars. Mercedes? Oh no. Now this was at turn one. Pushing a bit too hard at this point. <gasps> and the contact between the cars? Oh inevitable. my god. We have the chance to get a Haas now. And be clear of all the traffic. Lando starting at the back with all the new engine components. We're going to get DRS. Around the outside. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Crack on now, please. It's now six seconds from Norris to Piastri. They will be very close with the penalty factored in. I reckon we box Piastri now. Box Piastri now. We'll serve the penalty and make sure that they don't double stack. Ferrari Stop. thinking the same thing. You it seems. I'm going to stretch it one more lap for Lando. All right. Penalty being served. Right. I don't think those wheels are attached. We come out P14. We do come out ahead of Hamilton, so not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Do we stretch one more? Do we stretch one more? What are the leaders doing? Perez is coming in. Stappen carries on. What was it, 25, 26 seconds? I'd say 25 seconds. Come out ahead of Hamilton. So, fresh air. Probably makes sense to box, if I'm honest. Let's go. Enters firm box. Yeah, I think we can gain a little bit here. I think we can gain. Get a cheeky little undercut on those who haven't boxed yet. Huge. It's going to be close between the teammates here on exit. Let's just hope they don't get in each other's way. 2.1 second stop. Lovely stuff. There we go. Very close together. That could win us the uh, pit stop challenge this week. The Clur in. Wing change. Maybe you got damage and pit stop issue. <laughs> wow. So we could jump. We could jump the Clur. It's a lift, lift, lift. Okay. The teammates. Let each other go. Yeah, Norris make sure that, uh, is ahead. Fall off cliff on that, time. that needed to happen. Norris is quicker. People still haven't uh, responded, really. It's really only Leclerc. If it if it does what I think it's going to do, they're going to lose out hugely. But they're probably going to respond this lap. Gastry's ahead of Norris. How did this happen? Stappen's in. People have still carried on another lap. And off comes in too. Why? Um, the fact that. Some of these guys are running super long on their drives and actually managing to hold station means that we are going to be losing out a lot to them later on in the race. They've got pressure tyres. So they're in now. Finally. Will that cost them? Stroll was ahead before the pit stop. Not ideal. For those guys. We're nowhere near. We are nowhere near. We need a safety car. Hulkenberg right behind. We've got a big margin to catch up. Got to go full send. These tyres. Yeah, we're going to have to do one more stop. Incident. Safety car! Yes! Oh! No! There's a yellow Norris! flag now. 
is dangerous. So how's Norris involved in this? Now, who is that? Now, that looks like Lando Norris. So let's take a look at the replay. So here we go, heading into turn one. Cutting it so close. Really? Hell. What did I say this weekend? No crashes, new engine, new gearbox, new ERS. If that's in the mud, a whole season is We spent like close to 10 mil on new components for Norris this weekend. Absolutely perfect. We could get nearly a free pit stop. We'd rejoin P11, take new tires. Still won't be able to get to the end though, so. People are boxing again. People on Inters are boxing again. It's gonna be a stretch to do. I mean, we've only just gone on these tires, really. Not sure it's worth. Oh, I reckon we stay out. Even though even though everyone's boxing and we'll have fresh tires. Oh, hello. Reunited. Safety car also bumps up the fuel. Oh, maybe. Maybe the AI can go to the end. They'll have to be tire saving for the rest of the race to do so. AI might have played a blinder here. Here we go for the restart. Let's see if we can fight with these guys. Uh, Piastri is very good at adaptability. So we'll help him in conditions like this. So he'll be pretty quick. Full, full push to the end it is. Yeah, I think so. Hold him up. Hold him up. No DRS, which is going to help us. We're decent in the straight line, but not in the corners. Not with these old tires. All right, Leclerc gets us. Hopefully we're left in peace now. We can just do our own thing. Not get hounded too much. So we're just going to let Piastri do his thing. Looks like he's holding his own. Box around lap 50. Uh, we will rejoin last by a mile. Both the Williams stop. You know what? They're actually pushing as well, if not harder. Piastri is very level on tyres with these guys now. I didn't see that coming. They're all going to be stopping again. So, so. Oh. Science in for new Inters. Huge. Stroll as well. Now, if there's a safety car or VSC, anytime now, we are loving life. Will the AI immediately behind us box? If they do, we'll be looking at boxing as well to protect our position. I'm quite happy to yeet my battery to try and stay ahead. No box, no box. No, yes, there is a box for Hamilton. Russell stays out. Sights is the one on new tires, I believe. Okay, get ready. We are boxing very soon. Oh, Ocon's going for it. Q-Box. Okay. We're almost good on fuel. Almost good on fuel. Alrighty then, we're gonna respond this lap. With new intermediate tyres, try and overcut with some battery usage. Fuel usage as well. Can't really push the tyres too much. When does Ocon rejoin? Behind, Bottas. Slowed up by a slower car. This is huge. Yeah, we can definitely overcut now. We can definitely overcut. Now let's secure that dub with the uh, fastest pit stop, please. Come on. Here he is. He's making a move. Around the outside. Can he make it stick? Where's Piastri? No! Oh, well, at least Ocon hasn't got him. But we have fresh tires now. Maybe could have stayed. Maybe I should have stayed out one extra lap, and that would have been enough. I am looking after my tires. Ocon can't overtake, and we're charging our battery. Life is good. We're gonna gear up for a move next lap. Ah! I thought he had it. I thought he had it. We need to clear this guy. If we can clear him, and then we're flying. Come on, if we stayed out one extra lap, we'd be clear of this guy. How slow is the pace? One minute, 20. It's less on me, because there's two cars to overtake here. Ocon is trying, is on his own. Bottas ain't getting slipstream from anyone. It's harder for me to overtake Ocon, who's getting slipstream. Hulkenberg's third. My word. You don't think Ben realized what? Oh, hello. We've had a big crash here. Idiot. Just left him no room. All right, I reckon it's time to box. Get off these stupid tires. Concede track position to both these guys. Unfortunately, I reckon they. I reckon they'll all box again. 
Snap and Alonso, probably not. But yeah, that just that just shows that we should have stayed out super long. We didn't have that crystal ball. Peters are in. Hulkenberg may get a podium out of this. Hulkenberg boxes and drops him way down. Okay. Could we jump Bottas in the pits here with a good stop? I think we can. I think we can. We can save our race by getting ahead of Alpha here. Right. At least now we go full, full, full sends to the end. Here we go. 11 laps to get some points. Copy. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Immediately worth it. Cleared Bottas. Just the Mercs to get ahead of now. Don't underestimate new tyres, guys. We got, oh, my God. Hello? Not Bottas. Not Bottas. Anyone but Bottas. Got Sevy in for tomorrow? Yes. Huge. Defend. Defend. Push. Don't get pushed. Very good. Well done. This race makes no sense to me. In qualifying. Alpha Romeo, we're getting knocked out in Q1, and yet they're overtaking us. Makes absolutely no sense. Our car is so much quicker than the Alpha. We were top five on, on quality pace. Top five. And we can't overtake an Alpha Romeo. How has it gone this bad? We have a decent amount of downforce. We've got a new front wing upgrade for this weekend, so that's really boosted our medium speed performance, but apparently not three laps saving battery to go nowhere. When we use all of it, trying to get ahead. Yep. I love this game. I love this game a lot. Now that we're out of battery, we've got a good run. Now that we're out of battery, we've got a good run. Make it make sense. This game makes no sense. Now I've got no battery to, to actually keep the move. There we go. Nothing makes sense in F1 Manager. We still uh, have not got... The synopsis back on Lando's car. We we might be breaching cost cap if if his new components are genuinely in the mud. It always happens when you take new components. Not not just in my save, I've seen it in many other people's saves as well. We're gonna be going full send to try and bring this back. But after Mercedes being completely in the mud today, crashing into each other, they're getting a double points finish. Final attack on Hamilton here. Final attack. We're going to need a crazy last sector here. Pull this out of the bag. Stroll's going to get a podium. That's going to be incredible for Aston Martin. We're so close to Hamilton here. Perez wins on enemy territory. Lando's very close to a points finish, but he's just going to run out of time. No rain forecast. Ah, what a curse, yep. Grand Prix. No points. All so the bad luck. The Some bad calls there. I shouldn't have boxed under the last safety car, but we weren't getting much Fairly out of that Grand Prix. Sure, random, what a great way to take their third win this year. They definitely found their form. GG's to Perez. I think he's making a bit of a title challenge here. 26 points. And Verstappen down in fifth. That is unheard of. Driver standings. Oh, never mind. Not a good day. Not a good day for us. Stroll's having a very um, up and down season. Sometimes he's on the podium, sometimes he's out the points. You just don't know what kind of Lance Stroll you're going to get today. Whereas uh, Fernando is having a very much more stagnant or stable kind of uh, points all every round. Constructors, Alpine pull away by four. So not the worst results in the world, but not the result we needed. Crucially, we need to see what is the deal with Lando's car. Good round again for the uh, DHL fastest pit stop thing. Could get second in this championship ahead of Ferrari. That would be good points for us. 3.9 mil. We might just be in the positive in terms of finances. Nope, we're in the negative. 2.2 mil in the muds. Let's have a look at Lando's car and see what the damage is. Could be worse. Brand new gearbox goes to 70 just under 70%. The other stuff is pretty well intact. You'd hope so, because it was a front-on crash that Lando really should have avoided. It was a car that was right on the edge of the circuit. 
Lando saw it there and chose not to swerve. I hope doesn't cost us any more of these this season. We can't really afford to do any more because we are on the limit in terms of cost cap. We have 24 million projected for car upgrades. So the more we spend on power unit components, the more the less money we have to spend on making the car better for next season. So not so ideal. Italian Grand Prix is in four days time and we need to regroup. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel. Not a good day for McLaren, but let's bounce back at the Templar speed.